All right, welcome to another Michael Aller video, and this is going to be about doing all the Unreal script and all the Unreal side of things of implementing this menu. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to File, Publish, and it's going to publish this. And remember that uh, before you publish, that your cursor f pictures are in a subdirectory where you ever you saved your main menu file as your as main menu. Uh, it's, hope that makes sense. You can look at the UDN site for more about that. But uh, anyways, so back. To, uh, back to here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my content browser. I already have a package waiting for me. I just go ahead and click import. I'll just I'll import the SWF and it's going to import the. Let's see if hit OK. It's going to import the cursor file I got. I'm gonna save the package, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and make a new event. Go level loaded. Then I'm going to make a new action. Open GFX movie. I want to go new action. Toggle cinematic mode. Click the enable to there. After that's done, open the open the GFX movie. Go new variable player player. Connect to the cinematic mode. All right, now I'm going to need to get make some matinees for my camera movement. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to hook up my movie to the open GFX node first. If you have four cores UI install, which you should have, uh, just uh, go ahead and choose the movie player class. That's the first one here. FCX no FC GFX UI primary menu. Okay, we can go ahead and save the map now. Now we're going to go ahead and add an actor, or add a camera actor. And add a camera actor here. Go ahead and close this. Where's my camera actor? It is underneath my ground. Or it is invisible. That's not cool. So I'm going to go ahead and go show use defaults. There's my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little eye icon. And why does this disappear? Oh, okay. I. Okay. Damn it. I. Camera. There we go. Now I'm looking through my camera. Very cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at this light over here. I'm not gonna look in this corner over here. And now that's positioned, I can get out of my light. Cool. I can go to Kismet. Now I need to make an. Let's go ahead and take out my four cores camera helper. All right. And let's look up these events. Uh, these FS command events. And this was main menu. And that's. Oops. And I'm going to click that to main to menu one, and I want this to be the other one lowest loaded. I want to copy paste, or actually, I want to go to my content browser, my SWF movie, assign it to the movie. There we go. Now we can go or grab this, copy paste, and then name this settings because this is a settings menu. And we can go ahead and tag this to menu two, and I want to break link to settings. Oops. On the right link. Hmm. There we go. Alright, so now we need to make an idle sequence for our camera. That way it'll loop and not do anything. So go ahead and press out a matinee sequence. Make sure the camera is selected. Go ahead and double click on a matinee. Make a new camera group. And then make a new director group. Go ahead and make a keyframe on a director group. Add our camera group. There's our idle sequence right there. Boom, done. I'm going to go ahead and hook idle to play. And I will stop to the stop node of mat this matinee. Then I want to change this matinee to looping. That way it keeps looping nothing. Now I want to make another matinee for my menu. And my menu is not going to do anything either, my, or my main menu. I want it to be in the same place as the level starts. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing new camera group, new director group. And I want to add a new camera track. Hitting enter. And I want to change the time of the matinee. Because the main menu transition is should be very very short since there's actually no transition here. And menu one should go to play. Menu one reverse should go to reverse. And new camera group is empty. Why is that empty? I must not have had that selected. So I'll just go ahead and reuse this camera actor variable. All right. Now I'll go ahead and create another matinee. And this will be my settings menu. I'm gonna go ahead and move this up. That over there. And this will be the settings menu, so make sure my camera is selected this time. So I'll click here. Go ahead and make a new camera group. And make a new director group. Go ahead and add our new camera. I'm going to my movement track. About two seconds in, hit enter. I want to look through my camera. And then I want to move the camera to the opposite side of the corner of the room here. Actually, I want to make it look into the lit corner. That'd be cool. Alright, so if we pass through that. And it goes to that corner. 
That's nice. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And Kismet. Try to minimize on here. There's Kismet. Go ahead and drag uh, Menu 2 to the Play node. Menu 2 Reverse to the Reverse node. And then hook up the uh, the completed to the completed for only the mini functions, not the uh, idle, but only the mini ones. And then reverse goes to reversed. You have to do this because that's just how the code works. Sorry about that. Now, if this is too big, you can go ahead and right click it and go hide unused connections. That kind of compacts it all, but I don't mind that. So with that all there, we can go ahead and hit save. We can go ahead and test this. There's our main menu and we have no cursor. That's because we didn't take focus. Let's go to our OpenGFX movie. Let's go to take focus. Let's hit play. There's my cursor. Going ahead and hit settings. Camera moves over. Perfect. Going to my resolutions working. Hit save settings. Boom. Perfect. I, that's a horrible resolution. All right. So that's working. Go ahead and exit. Exit doesn't work through uh, the general editor the way it's called. You have to call it quit manually. And uh, new game doesn't let you transfer maps either. So let's go ahead and quit this. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and open up this map by loading, launching your game. And come on, load, 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 load. You do it. Trying to trying to get this done under 10 minutes here. Come on. All right. Here's our main menu. In game. This is our game. And hit uh, settings. I mean, we've already proven that a uh, camera's working. We already proven that the resolution works, save setting works, and looks like our back button's not working. That's why is our back button not working? Let's go to our flash here. Let's open up. I keep forgetting F9 pauses my recording. Let's go to back. It's not running FS command main menu. We need our back button to have that FS command. We can go ahead and hit publish. Well, this. We can go ahead and go to our content browser. Go ahead and re-import. Go ahead and save. And we're good. Now we should go back to our game here. Launch the game. Come on, come on, come on. And now we have a main menu. Now let's go ahead and click new game. Or let's we'll test that menu from that's moving back over there. We hit back, the camera should move on back. And why is that not working? Why is that not working? Okay, let's hit exit. Ah, I know why it's not working. It actually is working. It's just taking forever to reverse because of the fact that our setting sequence is five seconds long instead of two. So I'll reduce the time of my setting sequence. Go ahead and hit save. Go ahead and play. And now we should be able to go settings and should move over here. And we should be able to hit back. And boom, works just like that. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and exit. We can go ahead and launch this game. But for the most part, we are already done. And hopefully this is under 10 minutes. I'm not sure how long this part took. But the menu is done. It is published. It is in our engine and it's working. You can go ahead and do it. Now let's go ahead and hit uh, quit just to make sure it, there, it quits. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and test one more thing. we got to test the new game button because that's something we can't test in the editor. Because in the editor you can't switch maps. So let's go ahead and go to new game. And boom, it loads deck. I'm going to go ahead and quit this before it loads. Awesome. So there's our game. There's our menu done pretty quickly it should be under around around 30 minutes thank you for watching hopefully you watched the rest of my tutorials see you around uh how do i stop this there we go